Welcome to the Happiness Project. Far more of the uh, experience, passion, and more than anything, the mistakes of three bartenders from Leeds. Uh, the concept of the bar is simple. Every three months, we completely change concept. We change the decor, the music, the uniform, the food, the cocktails, the wine, the beers, even the air freshener. So right now, for this three months until uh, the end of March 2016, uh, we're a whiskey bar. Uh, focusing on scotch. Um, so we've got 60 different scotches in stock and uh, loads of tasty whiskey cocktails that are absolutely bang on wine list and awesome food that's got a, 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 a scotch twist on it. This week's Whiskey of the Week is the uh, delicious Lagavulin Distillers Edition. The, uh, the Distillers Edition range uh, goes across most of Tiago's distilleries and it basically means that it's, uh, it's the core whiskey finished in a, a different type of cask, usually a, a sherry cask or a sweet wine cask. Uh, the Lagavulin is finished in Pedro Jimenez sherry casks, um, so it's got a delicious uh, raisiny sweetness to it. Um, this guy says pound for pound it's the best whiskey that we stock. So? <laughs> delicious! <laughs> <laughs>Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, take you through one of the drinks off our, off our menu now. This is one of the drinks that we created where we hope that we can say to anyone at all, if you think you don't like scotch, try this. So it's, it's basically a cross between a, uh, a, a whiskey sour and an amaretto sour. Um, so instantly, when you see amaretto on the menu, you know, you, it, it makes you feel a little bit safer. Um, so, so we're going to use uh, 20 ml of amaretto and 20 ml of a hay club grain whiskey, so this is going to give like a nice uh, approachable, sweet sort of uh, whiskey note to it. Just to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of smoke, we're going to use uh, just 5ml of Lagavulin 16 year old, uh, which is a, uh, a peated uh, scotch from Isla. The style of the show for this uh, particular drink is uh, a plum syrup that we, uh, that we make in the house. Um, so it's uh, fresh plums, leave the skin on to give it a nice rich dark colour, uh, cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon. Um, so it's just a really warming, uh, pleasant sweetness to the drink. So we can use 25ml of that. Uh, and then just to, uh, to, to brighten it up, 15ml uh, of fresh lemon juice. Uh, bartender's secret ingredient, uh, bitters are just like uh, using herbs and spices in, uh, in cooking. Uh, <laughs> cooking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna use uh, three, three dashes of that. Uh, and then to give it a um, uh, nice sort of smooth velvety texture, we're going to use uh, 20 ml of egg white. And what we need to do with the egg white is uh, emulsify uh, that into the into the rest of the liquid. Um, you can do this through uh, through dry shaking or using a blender. Some might call this lazy bar something. I call it a good idea. I want to give this a nice, strong shake. And then I'm just going to fine strain it into a, uh, into a stem glass. Dehydrate the plum. And then just a small sprinkling of almond sugar. And there we have spice one cider. My name's Tom. You may recognise me from other productions such as Cake, Overcast, walked into a lamppost outside McDonald's at 2am. Hi. Hi. Hello there. Hi, I'm Tom Finstead. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. Yes. <laughs> you son of a bitch, Bruce. Uh, it's finished in... <laughs> Stop stripping. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to see you stripped up. Uh, do it all up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so today's uh, well, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> because you're stressing me out. I'm not stressing you out. You are, mate. I'm you're being a negative dancer. Uh, you like? <laughs> <laughs> it was deep. Okay. It was uh, definitely an art house movie at its finest. I feel. <laughs> I didn't go to the New York Film School based on the back of that. <laughs>
Olha ali. Em cloud. 